The first full moon of the year will happen Thursday, and the moon's rays will cause Venus, Mercury and Mars to be visible early Friday morning. Because the moon's cycle lasts for 29.5 days, there is a full moon every month, though they don't always fall on the same day, according to NASA. During those 29.5 days, the moon goes through eight phases, new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter and waning crescent. When the moon enters the full moon phase, it appears as a perfect circle in the sky because the entire side of the moon that's facing the Earth is lit up by the sun's rays. The full moon isn't the only celestial event happening this week. The moon will be about 98% lit on Wednesday, making twin stars of Gemini visible. The stars, named Pollux and Castor after figures from Greek and Roman mythology, will be positioned just above the moon, though Castor will be slightly higher than Pollux. Venus can be seen glowing brightly just before dawn on Saturday, and binoculars are recommended to see the planet, according to Earth Sky. Mercury will be visible about 45 minutes before sunrise, and will be positioned lower in the sky. If the skies are clear, gazers may get a glimpse of Mars, which will be significantly dimmer, next to Mercury. The waning moon. The moon phase between full and half moon, will pass near the star Regulus Saturday morning, according to NASA. Regulus is the brightest star in the Leo constellation and looks like a blue egg. Visible planets and night sky for January, Earth sky, wolf moon. Full moon in January 2024, Old Farmer's Almanac, 